Good afternoon, my friends. How are you? Merry Christmas, by the way. In today's video, I want to test how good actually is my iPhone 15 Pro Max against the GoPro uh, 10 Euro Black. Both they are amazing gadgets to do cinematic videos, but I want to compare with each other. But, but, there's no buts here. I need to see how good they are, like I said. I, I'm going to try to run, I'm going to walk slowly, I'm going to walk fast, I'm going to move fast left to right and uh, right to left to see how good both they are. And in the end, I will evaluate which one actually is the best, so I'll give some points as I'll do the video. And in the end, we can judge it together. Is that okay? Can I encourage you, if you are new to my channel or not, guys, please like and subscribe because Mr. Wig will be very grateful. And the second is I can continue making this uh, awesome videos. Even if you don't like this type of video, can I still encourage you to do it? You know why, guys? Because YouTube will share with more people around the world. Actually, people who do really like this type of videos. And obvious, I'll be very grateful once again. It's supposed to rain today. It looks very dark. I don't know if it's going to rain or not. One thing is for sure. I'm going to take advantage and make this video. Let's go. I'm starting. By the way, is, this is in a city of Worcester. I'm not far away from the cathedral. I just like this area because it's really nice. So here, for example, we can see straight away on the right hand side, it's got more a bright uh, color. And I can tell you that actually is the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I like it. I like it. Here, I would choose the iPhone 15 against the, the, uh, the GoPro that is on the left hand side. There's nothing wrong. Something that I can see it here straight away is the iPhone, as I'm recording, you can see oh, by the blue fence, is closer to me. The lenses, they do bring it. I can't take it back. I can pull them uh, towards me, what is a good thing. Something that I can't do on a, on a GoPro. You need to set up before you start to record how close you want to you. It was raining a lot. It was raining a lot. As you can see, actually, on the left hand side, the lenses on a GoPro start to be wet and both they were vulnerable. I can see the rain for more, on, um, more on the iPhone. I'm going down the steps. The stabilization was incredible. Was incredible on both gadgets from the GoPro to the iPhone. There it is. You can see clear on the right hand side. Once again, the iPhone is much brighter. It's like there's perhaps the sun wants to come uh, through the clouds and on the left, the GoPro is slightly darker. It's not a problem. You can still both. They are using they call the cinematic. Nice colors. No, see no problem here. Sometimes I try to walk fast or slow to see how the stabilization works. Here I just stopped and now you're going to see me talking. Let's go to turn into me and see how clear. Hope you can see me well. I just want to see how good is this uh, iPhone and GoPro. The GoPro for me did the job. As you can see here, the, some uh, uh, the swans. I can see clear on both, but the iPhone once again is above. Here, I'm gonna run, guys. I want to see the stabilization, how good they are. And both they are good, but I'm gonna say the GoPro here was a little better. I could still make videos on both of them. See that the iPhone here, I'm gonna move fast, left, right, and right to left. Oh, she moves the, uh, very fast. I moved them both at the same speed, but look how the uh, GoPro absorbed. I tried to record the, the, some of the greenery. I could see it very well. I'm walking really fast. Actually, I could see walking fast. The, the, the GoPro wasn't, wasn't as the same uh, pace as the iPhone. Once again, the colors. They are very strong on the iPhone. That is outstanding. For a mobile phone, can you see? More bright and more strong. Another point for, uh, 
for um, for the iPhone here I was recording the building can you see on the iPhone is closer to my eyes on the GoPro on the left is further away there's nothing against about that really it's just one from the other it looks more clear the, it looks um, the colors they look more natural actually for me on a GoPro once again the building on the right hand side is on my iPhone on the left was on a GoPro now here I tried to see the colors how bright they would come but actually it's very very close I can see through the red on the right hand side is a little more vivid but it was closer I was expecting completely different here I'm trying to record people buildings etc to see the big difference and once again slightly the iPhone 15 Pro Max is outstanding. Can you see the green of this uh, club here? On the right hand side was slightly uh, brighter. Can you see the lights here? Here the GoPro did better than the, than the iPhone. The, the lights, they were not flashing. Here the iPhone is a little ahead. I can see better the, the Christmas balls on this tree. And it looks brighter. Now here I can see, I stopped it here because I wanted to see how different it would look the, the wet floor. I choose actually the GoPro here. It looks much, much nicer and it looks slightly further away. On the right hand side, the iPhone brings me the stalls closer to me. They were not actually the right distance was the one on the, on the left. Is that a problem? No, I'm just trying to compare with each other and some they perform better in some areas. The other perform better on the other area. The GoPro did got a, a little wet as you could see, but both I didn't have nothing to cover. I recorded as the way as it is, so I will not give a point less because they are wet. The fact I, I, I was completely wet as well to make this video. So hope you enjoy it. Hope you can see and even perhaps make a decision on which gadget is the best for you. Once again, I'm going to tell you and perhaps without no surprises guys or perhaps it's a surprise for you between the GoPro 10 and the iPhone 15 Pro Max the one I would take to make this video would be the iPhone 15 Pro Max I would choose because I think it's more easy to use it on the iPhone 15 Pro Max you could bring the image with your fingers with the GoPro it's the opposite you need to set you need to turn it off you need to set up, bring the image close to you uh, from the distance that you want to record or to take a photo and after that you press record or you take a photo. So the iPhone 15 is up there, let me to tell you, what a, a huge difference. They move quite fast actually. The iPhone 15 actually is up there with the best cameras, let me to tell you. And to tell you perhaps something that you don't know guys is the um, Apple one did the advert for the uh, new iPhone 15. I presume they use the best cameras because they have the money and they, they can pay even to a company. Now, a couple of weeks after they did the advert and I, I saw the advert for the, uh, the iPhone 15, actually Apple said they made the video with the iPhone 15. Actually, some of the directors, they didn't accept it. Somebody gave the idea. Uh, why we don't do the advert with the with the iPhone 15 and say people say you crazy you know we got the best cameras we got uh, companies who can do that for us with the best material that you think cinematic and in, in the end finally they made the best decision if you watch watch a video and the advert for the iPhone 15 Pro Max and you will see actually how good is that now that it tells you this is up there from the professionals to the amateurs or even to a beginner. I do enjoy, this is incredible. Something so small that I can put in my pocket and go anywhere and take photos and make videos anywhere is just outstanding. Hope you enjoy the video guys, make the right uh, choice and decision for you. For me, I'm happy. I have decided, I approve that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is the master here making in this video. Hope you enjoy guys, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one.